Hey guys, welcome back to another fragrance review. I'm your host Rob, and this is my channel, Rob With. Uh, guys, if you haven't tuned in, uh, please tune in, uh, and thank you for coming back again to my channel. Hopefully, this will be a great review for you guys. I'm going to be doing another uh, great review for you guys, and this is uh, a company that is uh, very well known in the community, and it's uh, so hyped for a good reason. And uh, we're going to be visiting the House of Creed, and uh, without further ado. We're going to be reviewing Creed Aventus, the almighty Creed Aventus. Almighty, and I'll tell you why it's almighty. Show you a bit of the presentation here. You can see the back, there's some information from Creed. Bottle information in the bottom. You can see it's engraved there. And uh, it's a beautiful cap with the metal on top. And this is supposed to be uh, uh, a picture of Napoleon, I believe. And uh, yeah, this is the prayer, the spray of uh, 2013. This is a 2013 uh, bottle. I have other bottles here that I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, and uh, there's a reason for that. And the reason why I'm doing this video. Because um, I'm going to be doing a little comparison between four bottles that I have. And I'll show you here. Four bottles of Creed Aventus. Uh, yes. I love Creed. I love Creed Aventus. And uh, this is my bad boy. I call it uh, the pretty boy of all fragrances, for sure. Uh, it's probably the best fragrances, probably the best fragrance created till this date since since 2010. And it uh, one of the few fragrances that you can you can go to most uh, frag heads collections, and they're gonna have either a decant of this, they're gonna have a sample or a full bottle of this. Or they're split in it. Uh, why? Why is that? Why is it so popular? Why is it so expensive? You know, this bottle runs between uh, between a hundred uh, uh, between one hundred fifty and a thousand dollars depends uh, on the batch that you find. Uh, now, what I have here is uh, twenty thirteen batch, and uh, that's batch uh, thirteen GL two. I'm sorry, thirteen UL two. I have 14 DO1, that's from 2014. I have another 2014, that's 14 GO1. Then I have a 2015 uh, 15R01. Now, why do I have all these bottles? Uh, why? Because I love Creed. I love Creed Aventus. It's my, my favorite fragrance. It's my most complimented fragrance. It's the one that I love the most, my wife loves the most, my kids love the most, and I, I love the way people react when I wear it. And uh, yes, I do wear fragrances sometimes to get reactions, but that's not my main purpose. But I do like to have something. Uh, I, I do like to collect stuff that is worth it. And this is uh, probably my, my, my best kept secret in my collection. Not within, not, not within the fragrance community, but where I am or around the people I, I am. So why do I have all these? When I first started collecting the twenty uh, the, in 2013, I started reeling around and they were saying that, you know, there's so many batch variations uh, and they keep changing the, the ingredients and the smell. And I said, you know, I got to try a, a new one. I got to try a 2014. And I said, well, the 2013 I, I, I got is the uh, 14 DO1. It's different uh, than the new one that came out, the 13 GO1 and FO1. Let me, let me try the 13 GO1 just to see how much different it is to see it's so much better or weaker. Let me try that because it's more pineapple. Then comes another one, another batch variation, 2015. That's when I stopped. And that's uh, the one they have, the 15R1. Now, what are the main differences in these? Now, first, let's get to the ingredients. And this, I'm going to go right to Frangantica so you guys can see uh, what I'm talking about when it comes to ingredients. So, again, this was created in 2010 by... Uh, 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 between father and son. This is a father and son company. And this uh, company was, uh, I believe it was found in 1760. 1760. I have a hard time believing that. And there's a lot of debates online about when uh, they were established. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it's tough, you know, to go back that far and, and, and prove yourself that you've been around that long. But anyways, uh, this was introduced in 2010. And now we're going to get to the notes. Uh, top notes are black currant. Bergamot, apple, and pineapple. Heart, rose, dry birch, Moroccan jasmine, and patchouli. Base, oak musk, musk, ambergris, and vanilla. Now, 
Uh, what are you going to get from this? You're going to mainly, mainly what you're going to get in this. Once the whole fragrance has dried down completely and it's on you for hours, the main note on this is a pineapple, a very fresh pineapple, and birch. You're going to get a birch and you're going to get the ambergris, which is very similar to uh, ambroxan, which is something, uh, uh, an ingredient that's uh, used uh, uh, a lot nowadays on the expensive fragrances. Like, for example, the Sauvage has the ambergris, and that's the other fragrance that has. Uh, not ambergris, ambroxan, which is the artificial uh, uh, ingredient uh, copy of ambergris. So that is my second most complimented, besides Crete Aventus. And I, I think it has to do something with the ambergris and the freshness of it. So the differences in the badges, 2013, you're going to get a very smoky birch. You're going to get the pineapple, leather, and that's uh, within the first uh, hour or two. After that, you're going to get a mainly uh, very fresh birch pineapple note, a little smoky. 2014, you're going to get, it's going to be toned down, the smoke is going to be toned down. You're still going to get the birch, you're going to get the black hair and the pineapple. But it stays fresh as it dries down after the third hour. Same goes for uh, uh, 14 uh, G01 and 14 G01, which are the two 2014s, the same. Uh, in 2015, that's when you see the big impact and the freshness. The pineapple is brought up front. Uh, 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 the smoke is way in the background. Uh, it's there, but in the background there's birch and there's the, the, the black currant and the apple note there. But mainly pineapple. And the dry down and the, after the fourth hour, pretty much they all smell the same. There is no difference. Uh, if you want to comment at the end and tell me if there's something different in, in your opinion that you think, uh, you know, if there's a badge or something that you think I should be looking at, I plan not to buy anything different, but I, 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 I think I have it pretty much all, uh, I'm pretty set on what, I, what I've learned and where I'm going to go with Aventus, and I think I'm going to stay here for now. Uh, and you can see I put a nice dent on all of these. I don't know if you can see, see the dent on these two. I don't know if you can see the dent on... Uh, this one and this one. See the dent and see the dent. So, yeah, I think I've done uh, enough uh, testing in this to tell you that they pretty much are all the same. No matter which one you get, you're going to smell great. They're, it's pretty much all the same. Uh, the differences are about 10% differences in the open and dry down is pretty much the same. Uh, as for the newer badges, much fresher, more pineapple. And um, this is a compliment king. Not only that, it's probably the most versatile fragrance you can have. This can go casually, dressy. This is going to get you noticed. This is going to this is going to set you apart from anybody that you're around. This is going to be the 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 one fragrance is that's going to that's going to suit any occasion, any time, and it's going to it's going to exude luxury. This smells like luxury this, this smells like uh this smells like like money you know what i mean this has a money smell to it and uh, um it actually does smell like like money it's so funny because it gives you like this if you smell it it kind of smells like fr a fresh dollar bill it's so funny it, 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 and i've always said that and um it people will notice this uh you can be five feet away and people are going to know that you're coming and uh at least a scent trail that's who knows? God knows how long it goes. I'm, I'm pretty sure it goes over seven feet because I've been, I've been noticed from over seven feet. And uh, people, when I walk in a room, people from far away say, that, is that you? You know, when I when I walked uh, into work and uh, I've gotten stopped by uh, o older ladies and younger people. I had people stand behind me in a line and I can, I can, I can feel them sniffing and I can hear them saying is that's him that's him and, and I know it's and I know it's me I know they're talking about me I can you know and um the last time I worn this is I don't wear it much but when I do wear it I wear it well and the, I probably wear it more when uh spring and summer um uh I was in a Starbucks and two girls in the counter the first thing they say is that you I said yeah uh I don't know you want to smell me say yeah it is you like wow that smells amazing what is that it's Creed uh, I told him it's Creed, and then the other girl says, yeah, a lot of people wear that in Miami. That's so nice. So, yeah, Creed is an amazing scent. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, wonderful compliment getter. People will know you. You will stand out. You will smell unique. And uh, 
age-wise, I say a more mature crowd, you can probably start uh, past the age of 18, but it's super versatile. And the best, probably, it is the best fragrance I have in my collection. It's, the, it's my number one, and it's the, uh, uh, well worth the price. Uh, I mean, if you can cash this for $200, you are getting an amazing deal in a four ounce. I've, I've been lucky to find these under under uh, $250, three of them. And the first one I paid about $250, but well worth it. And um, I go about uh, four sprays on this, one, two, three, and the head. If I really want to stand out, I'll probably spray two more here, and that just comes out of your clothes. It projects, and, you know, the head just uh, leaves a nice aura, nice scent bubble. People are going to notice you when you're around, and people will tell you you smell great. It doesn't matter who. It can be a dog, and a dog is going to go, rah, rah, rah. you know, people are just going to go uh, uh, berserk when, when, when they smell you. They're going, to, they're going to say, wow. So, highly recommend it. If you have a collection, you want... The best uh, niche fragrance out is uh, Creed Aventus. You want to start there. That's where you want to spend your big money. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll be, I'll try to bring, a, like I said, a review at least once a week. And uh, Thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Guys, have a great day. Thank you.